right, boys and girls, for today for writing, you're going to need your writer's notebook and your pencil. And maybe at the very end, you might need some colored pencils or crayons. But right now, let's just get out our writer's notebook and our pencil. And we're going to go ahead and get started. You can um, add your name to your paper um, and your date in just a minute. For right now, I want to go ahead and get started and talk about our big book a little bit. Our big book was about animals and lots of different kind of animals that told lots of information. And one of the things that I want to focus on today is the, the animals that had fur. Okay, it has fur is my title. Now, we're not writing yet, so put your pencils down. We're just gonna listen for a couple minutes and then we're gonna pick one to draw. So I went ahead and wrote the list of some things that I know that have fur, okay? If they have fur, that means they're a mammal and they drink their mother's milk and they're born alive. So we have the bear cub that has fur we have the jaguar cub, and I learned in the book that jaguars, even though they have fur, they, and they're kind of like a cat, they like water. I didn't know they like to swim. So that was interesting to me. So bear cubs, jaguars, llamas, llamas have fur. Llamas, um, sometimes their fur gets made into, um, like clothing. So that's kind of interesting. Raccoons. We see raccoons on the edge of the road, don't we? Or in the road that they forgot to look both ways. But raccoons have fur, just like these other animals. And the last one I picked was a koala. And koalas, I think, are so cute. And they definitely have a lot of fur, don't they? So bears usually have black or brown or white fur. Um, let's go down to raccoons. The raccoons have what color fur? Black with a little bit of white, okay. Koalas are gray. So what we're going to do for our writing today is you are going to pick one animal that you would like to draw and tell about. Now, it can be one of these that have fur, or it could be another one that's in our book. So what I did is I picked one that I thought I might be able to draw, kind of be able to draw, and that's what you're gonna do as well. But underneath, you're gonna write a sentence about your animal. So now we're going to go to our notebook, if you still need to put your name and date on the paper and draw your line, go ahead and do that. First and last name. The date is pretty interesting. We're now at February 1st of 2021. So two means February, the second month, the first day in the 21st year, 2021. And then we have a line where? Right about on where our hole is. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to think of what you want to write about. If you need a minute to think, then turn the video off and think. I want you to decide what animal you are going to draw and what you are going to write about that animal. Do you have something in your head? If not, pause the video, because we're gonna keep going. All right, so I decided that I might be able to draw a bear, and I actually practiced a little bit. So I need to write a sentence about a bear. I have to think, hmm, what are the things that I know about a bear? I know a bear is soft, it has fur, it lives 
outside or in a den. It drinks milk from its mama. They like the woods. Lots of different things that I can think of about a bear. But I want you to think of something about that animal that you can write. And all of ours are going to be different. So if you don't know how to write a word today, what do you do? You do the best you can. Use some of our high frequency words that we know to pop in there so that maybe you don't have as many words that you have to try to stretch out. But just do your best. So I'm going to pick a bear and I'm going to say the, we always start with the capital, the bear finger space is soft. Okay. We don't know the word soft yet, but look, we can stretch it. Soft. You know all those sounds. And then how do we end it? We end it with a period. So I would like you to turn the video off for right now, and I want you to write the sentence that you are thinking of. Have your animal in your head and what you're going to tell about them, and you're going to write something about them. You can start with the, and then put the animal that you want, you can use one of these, or you can use one of your own. It doesn't have to be one that has fur. You can pick whatever you would like. But I know my bear is soft because it has fur. All right, so you pause the video, go ahead and get your sentence done, and then you're going to get to draw. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have your sentence done. I am going to try to draw my bear. Now, I know that bears live in dens, so I am gonna draw a den. And I am going to put my little bear sitting in the den. So as I draw mine, you can go ahead and try to draw yours. Remember, they need hands or paws or long legs. Depends what you pick. Try to put a little detail in there. Those of you at home, if you want to look online and try to find a picture of your animal, you could do that. But here is my bear. And I did the best that I could. That's what's important, right? It's not important that it's super wonderful. You do the best that you can. So now I'm going to make sure that my words match my picture. The bear is soft. Something I just thought of that I could do to make it match, oops, I forgot my period, there you go, is I could put some lines on to make him look like he's furry. Okay? 
Okay, so now does that make it match my picture a little better? Let's put him sitting on the ground. See all those little details that you can add to your picture if you think you're done? Okay, thank you for joining me for writing today. Please make sure you upload your picture for your teacher and your writing. Make sure your words and your picture match. You have a great day, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.